Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Kirby Canvas Curse playthrough. We are currently in the extra videos, making our way through all the Rainbow Run stages, which are basically just the stages we played in the uh, main game, uh, just with uh, different conditions for certain rooms. We have to do time trials and line trials, all of that good stuff. And uh, pretty much got to do that for every single stage. So this is going to be the second video of that. Uh, there'll be one more video of this after this video, and after that we'll move on to uh, another part of the extras. Um, we'll still technically be in Rainbow Run because we have all the copy ability stages, but uh, I, I think that's different enough to have its own special video because those are pretty unique courses, while these are just kind of like, you know, revisions of what we've already done in the main game. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and say this right now, this is post-commentary. Um... The first video was live commentary, but when I tried to record this session's uh, worth of Rainbow Runs, I ran into a couple of technical hiccups with my uh, microphone. Uh, microphone is fine, just the commentary um, was kind of uh, corrupted in some places. Uh, so I figured, well, I'll just do post-commentary for this, and it honestly might make more sense anyway, since uh, I have to cut out a lot of failed attempts anyway, so it just, just kind of made some more sense. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on with uh, more of uh, these Rainbow Run stages. Uh, we're in World 3 right now, or Level 3, whatever you want to call it. And the first stage we have is Rift Ruins. So we're going to go ahead and select our Meta Knight Ball and get things moving here. Uh, so I will go ahead and say that um, even though I do heavily recommend uh, the Meta Knight Ball for a vast majority of these stages, um, I wouldn't say he is the... Uh, end all best character for this mode. He just makes a lot of the stages a lot easier because he moves a lot faster. You get bigger boosts from the uh, rainbow line and the tap dash. Uh, so as a result, like especially for the time trials, it just makes more sense to use Meta Knight. However, um, he does have the downside of the three HP health, which is not a lot of HP. Um, if you get hit, uh, you're gonna be uh, really regretting it because you won't be able to use those hits to get past some of the other uh, obstacles in the stage that you could potentially just skip over with another character. And like right now, like if we were to use Kirby for these, like we'd have like, I want to say like seven hit points, which is like more than double the amount of health Meta Knight has. So uh, Kirby definitely has his advantages and I would definitely recommend Kirby as well. Um, especially for the tap dash, or not the tap dash, but the line trial stages. Uh, just because in those stages, like, you know, kind of taking hits is uh, kind of encouraged in some cases. Because you'll be able to skip over certain things. Uh, so yeah, just uh, if you're having some issues with Meta Knight, use Kirby. If you're having some issues with Kirby, try Meta Knight. Or you could even try some of the other characters as well. Um, don't even necessarily have to use those two. Um, but those are the two I would... Definitely recommend uh, Meta Knight for the speed and the boosts, and Kirby for the uh, HP, and also the ability to use copy abilities, too. Um, so, yeah, definitely uh, keep that in mind. Uh, so next up, we're going to move to Contrast Cave. Uh, didn't really have a whole lot to say about those previous stages. Uh, this stage right here, um, this is one I spent a lot of time with on Meta Knight, and uh, did eventually uh, get the three medals for this one. But this is one where I would definitely recommend using Kirby instead, because uh, the copy abilities here can make this part a lot faster, since with Meta Knight you have to individually tap all of the uh, star blocks. While with Kirby, um, if you just get like the burning ability, um, or fireball, whatever it's called, you can just uh, go through a lot of those at once. So um, Definitely one where using Kirby, probably, honestly not a bad idea, but I did make it work with Meta Knight. So there we go, that is the uh, time trial for that one. Um, as far as the line trial, uh, not too much to say about this one. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, one of those ones where you have to be a little careful with the um, number of, or not really number, but the amount of uh, rainbow line you use, because when they give you like a small amount of it, like 500 or 400, um, you actually use quite a bit of it whenever you, like, use the rainbow line. So they kind of encourage you to use, like, small strokes if you can. 
if you're making a big jump, obviously they want you to use like the tap dash to kind of, um, kind of you know get a little extra boost, I guess. Just got to be very careful with some of those because you could end up using more line than you actually intend to. Gonna have to kind of play with the meter a little bit, see how exactly how much you are using and stuff like that. But um, that's pretty much all I gotta say about that stage. So next up we have uh, Silver Submarine. Uh, another type of stage where I'd recommend using Kirby over Meta Knight is probably any of the water stages, really. Um, because the thing is, Meta Knight does have a really nice boost whenever you use the tap dash or just touch him. Like, it's a really nice boost, but underwater it can actually be kind of... Like... I don't want to say, like, not beneficial, because it can be beneficial in some aspects, but... In other aspects, like if you're going through like a narrow corridor, uh, sometimes, like, whenever you tap Meta Knight, he almost goes too far, so... He can collide with like an obstacle, he can go further down than what you intend him to do. So really if there's water, I wouldn't recommend using Meta Knight either. I, I made it work here, um, obviously, which is why you're seeing this attempt, but uh, you know, definitely, again, it's a case where if one character doesn't work, just try another character, see if maybe you have a little more success with that. Another thing you kind of got to remember is even if there's like one section like a character goes sl slowly through, there might be another section that they actually go fast through. So you can kind of make back that time you lose in one section in another section. Just little things you have to kind of think about when you're doing like optimization stuff like this. It's the same for like speed running and you know a lot of other, a lot of other mediums of that nature. Uh, once again, tap dash. Uh, this is actually a pretty long tap dash stage. Um, and once again, I feel like they don't really give you like a lot of uh, line for this stage because of how long it is. But that's the thing. That just kind of means that, well, you really don't need to use the uh, line very much at all because uh, they kind of intend you to kind of go, like I guess, auto-scroll-like through the stage a little bit. See, so like right here, don't need to use any line whatsoever. You just kind of have to wait it out and get through these uh, currents and the fan spiky blades and all that other stuff. So yeah, you don't really have to use a lot of line in this one anyway. Um, but another thing that is also worth mentioning... Um, uh, what exactly did I want to mention here? Um, I had something I wanted to say. I can't think of what it is now. It'll, it'll come to me, I'm sure. But yeah, for right for this one right here, just kind of have to navigate through the um, different gates, press the switches, and see. One thing that can be annoying is like sometimes you hit a wall and then you start going in the other direction, so you almost have to wait for him to hit another wall so he turns back around. You have to kind of adjust like for the tap boost and everything. But um, still, like you can make it work without using any rainbow line whatsoever. It just might take a couple of attempts to just kind of get like the timing right and everything. And you also have to just remember that for the line trials, like you're not timed, so even if like you have to stop for a bit, like that's actually a good time to kind of like assess what you're doing and you know maybe make your next move without having to worry about like going fast. Because it's only the uh, time trials where you have to go fast. Uh, so with level 3 done, we're going to move on to level 4, uh, Neo Grio, a.k.a. Nedgred. And uh, first up we have Machine Madness. This one's actually kind of interesting because... Yeah, I feel like you could almost go through that section a little faster by using the lines. As opposed to using the cannon and like bouncing your way through that monstrosity of bumpers. But, um, I don't know, it, it kind of depends. Like, I didn't really sit down and actually time it out. This is just the run that actually ended up working, so I'm like, okay, maybe that is faster. And I, I guess another thing you also kind of have to think about, especially when you're doing the speed trial, is, you know, you can use as much line as you want, but sometimes when you're trying to go through all these at once, you're kind of like thinking, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't use as much line, but in, in the case of time trials, sometimes using line can be helpful, because... Um, you can kind of just, like, get on the right track a lot faster and stuff of that nature, so. Just a lot of different things to think about and consider. Uh, this is another one where, um, 
it's pretty much an auto scroller when you get to a certain point. So like once you get to that like once you get across that first pit, I don't think you have to use Lion like again in this entire stage. <laughs> you just kinda just fire your ball around and wait till it gets to the end. Which is kinda funny. It's kinda funny how this is essentially and like I feel like getting hit by an enemy right there I think I feel like that actually kind of helped me because that actually put me off the auto gen cycle and then at some point like even though I am just kind of bouncing around right now um, it will put me on this track right here and just roll down to the exit so again I, I made it work I made it work okay so that done Let's move on to Dreamy Darkness. And see, another thing that you'll have to do a lot in these stages is just kind of memorization. Like, you're not going to get all of these on the first try. Like, I mean, th this was after my practice playthrough where I got all of these. And even a lot of these, I had to take multiple attempts just to kind of remember, like, what exactly I had to do. What was the optimal way to get through a certain section, stuff of that nature. Um, but yeah, like sometimes, like especially this stage, because you're dealing with the darkness, you know, you're not necessarily going to remember like where everything is, and it's a pretty big room too. So you have to kind of like just assess the room out a little bit, see like where all the pits are, uh, see where all like the walls are, kind of navigate your way through, almost in a sense doing it blind, like without any light whatsoever, and then you can figure it out pretty quickly. Just some of the stuff you have to consider when you're doing some of these that you're not always going to get them on your first attempt, so don't necessarily try to get them on your first attempt. Uh, this is actually a very short one, as you can probably see from the uh, amount of line we have and how much we need for rankings. But uh, this is where what I like to call the little bump strat, where literally you just make like little tiny rainbow lines nothing too obsessive just to bounce your ball up to the goal and there you go that's it for dreamy darkness so let's go ahead and move on to paletto polis uh, I believe the first one here um, this one can be uh, kinda difficult I think actually both of these are pretty uh, complicated when you think about them I think I think if, if the line trial is what I think it is which I think it is but um, for this one, like obviously you don't want to ride the uh, the platforms because the platforms are slower than what your ball is. So obviously do not ride those platforms. Just try to you know throw all caution to the wind. Just just kind of uh, try to draw your way through the rooms. Actually got pretty uh, lucky right here. But hey, no complaints, I made it work. <laughs> That's all that matters. Okay, so yeah, this is the room I was thinking about, and I think I mentioned this during the actual main part of the Let's Play, but I I warned you guys that uh, this room would be showing up again in Rainbow Run, and uh, it's quite the doozy, especially in Line Trial. I mean, they give you a lot of line to work with. They, they're they aware this is a pretty huge room. But, um, yeah, you have to go through quite a bit. This is, like, I think the longest, like, line trial stage you have to do. Just because, again, you're doing this entire room in essentially one go and trying to minimize the amount of line you use in the process. I think it is a pretty interesting challenge, though. Like, all things considered, like, I think it is, in a sense, a little generous. Because, again, you have stuff like the bump and run strat. Uh, Meta Knight already gets kind of a nice boost from the tap dash, so you can kind of... You don't need to make your lines as long anyway, just because of Meta Knight's boost. So, like, you can make it through here with no problem and use only, like, a little bit of line. But, um, still, it, it's, a, it's a fun challenge because when you're not being tested on that, like, obviously, feel free to draw, draw as much as you want because, again, there's not really a penalty to... So it's just kind of interesting to see, like, okay, how can I optimize this? How can I, like, not um, use as much of my resources so I can get through here and, you know, get the best ranking and everything? That's the kind of stuff I do find interesting about this mode. But I will say this, like, after, uh, after doing this for my practice file and doing it for this Let's Play file, I'm 
probably never going to do this again. <laughs> like, I, I like optimization stuff. I like getting, like, you know, the best rankings on everything. I mean, there's a reason I've gotten 180 emblems in Sonic Adventure 2 as many times as I, ha as I have. Um, it's just because, like... <sighs> I don't know. It's... It's not because I dislike this game or anything. It's just... I'm just not really much of a fan of touch controls or motion controls in gaming as much. Like, I think there are some games where it works well, and those games are, you know, more fun to play as a result, but I wouldn't say it's something that I necessarily, like, want to do, like, all the time when I am playing uh, video games, because I just, I just kind of like having a controller. I like just knowing that, okay, this button does this, this button does this, let me do my thing. I feel like when they actually give me full control over it, like, the game almost expects me to be, like, as precise as you need to be, and I don't know, I think that with, in other cases, there's, like, a bit of leniency, not so much with, like, fully touch-controlled games. So that's probably why I wouldn't really ever do, like, the Rainbow Run stuff ever again. I've done it twice, done it twice in, like, a period of, like, only, like, a month or two. So I think I've... I think I've kind of had my fill of it. Okay, so with that, um, level 4 is done. We're going to move on to uh, World 5 now, the Blue Hills. I think that this video will be, the rest of this video will be just of this world, and then we'll do World 6 and World 7 in the next video. Um, from what I remember, this is where the stages definitely start getting, I mean, I, I even think with like the last world, the stages started getting a little difficult, especially with some of those... Uh, time trial and line trials we did, but um, this stage in particular, like this is a pretty monstrous room and you have to do a speed run of it as well. So you have to be like very quick, you have to be very precise, you can't really mess around too much. Uh, thankfully this is where again Meta Knight does uh, come in handy because you know you can kind of get through these sections pretty quickly and you know save yourself a lot of time, but um, I believe the second part of this stage you'll have like a lot of enemies to avoid, a lot of obstacles to avoid, and that's where Meta Knight's big disadvantage, his health, actually comes into play, because he only takes uh, two hits before the third hit will kill him. So you just kind of have to just be very careful, make sure you don't take any damage when you don't need to. Like right there, there's no reason to ever take damage in that section, so... Don't bother with doing that. And we're falling down here. I accidentally took the damage there. That's okay. I think we do have enough time to uh, make this work, though. Yeah, we can ignore all the other stuff in this room because it's for the... Uh, I think I believe, I believe it was for that uh, one of the switches, which we obviously don't need now. Uh, this section right here can be kind of annoying, especially with Meta Knight. So I'm actually going to be playing it safe here because uh, I have had a little extra health and a little extra time to do so. So I was able to kind of skip that last part, but uh, that that section can be hard with Meta Knight just because like those icicles can be really annoying to avoid. So yeah, just uh, be a little careful there. And as far as the uh, line trial is concerned, uh, this is another one where they don't really give you a lot of line to work with, but it's a pretty small room. It's just kind of about optimizing your movement a little bit. Even if you get kind of offline a little bit, um, just making a very small, quick line can kind of, kind of put you back on track. Oh, I think I also remembered that one thing that I was uh, trying to talk about earlier, but um, when it comes to like um, like breaking blocks or obstacles in your path, you have to be very, very careful. Um, because if you're not careful, I also forgot to take out that attempt, I guess. Um, but um, you have to be careful because... Uh, especially for the line trials, because sometimes like if you accidentally tap the screen too many times... Um, the screen will act like you're actually making a line, even if you're just like making like a small dot. It's still part of your line, and in the level like this, for example, where you don't have a lot of line to work with, that can deplete your meter, and, you know, you could do a stage almost perfectly, 
and just a few extra taps could prevent you from getting the uh, third uh, metal. So you have to be very, very careful and very precise. If you're tapping the screen, make sure you're, you know, tapping your character or you're actually tapping like the obstacle, and you only tap that obstacle as many times as you need to, instead of and not like do it any extra times. So that's what I meant to say earlier. I'm glad I got that thought out there because that is a very important thing to consider. <laughs> okay, so next up we have Dungeon Dome. The one thing I kind of appreciate about this is you don't have to do the uh, that one wheel puzzle we did before. I think that's like the one room they admitted from uh, the Rainbow Run. They got the other two rooms, but not that annoying room. Which, hey, I'm not, I'm not complaining, because that room sucks, but, again, because of how hard that room is, in the single-player mode and getting the metal there, you would, you would think that they'd actually try to do something with it. But they didn't, and again, I'm very thankful. This is honestly, I think, another one where Meta Knight may not be advised, and like you may want to use Kirby, because um, the other big disadvantage of Meta Knight is uh, Meta Knight cannot use copy abilities, so, you know, Fireball, Wheel, all those abilities that can actually get you through get you through some sections pretty quickly, um, yeah, you can't, you can't use them with Meta Knight, so that's another thing you kind of have to consider, is that if, like, Fireball really makes a section a lot faster, then maybe you want to use Kirby instead of Meta Knight, just because he can make use of the powers and Meta Knight can't. It's kind of the risk-reward uh, type of uh, aspect with Meta Knight, because you know you can get all that fast normal speed, but you miss out on a lot of other things, too. So with that one done, let's go ahead and do the uh, tap dash stage next. And yeah, I feel like there's not really any reason to use any of the other characters. Um, Waddle Dee, um, as I've discussed before, he doesn't really have um, doesn't really have anything that makes him like super unique. It's just like again, Ball Kirby without the uh, copy abilities. Um, King DDD, I feel like, is almost probably too slow and sluggish for this mode. Like, especially for, like, time trial with line trial, like... I guess it kind of depends, uh, because the big thing with the King DDD ball is that it's pretty big. And, um, you know, he can sequence break some sections, but not all sections. And yeah, here's a section where, like, if you use Meta Knight, you have to, like, actually... Okay, I, I somehow avoided it, but like, I couldn't tap Meta Knight right there, because he'd go too far down and touch the spikes. So again, another disadvantage of Meta Knight, and like, his boosts, while they're good in some aspects, can actually be kind of uh, not beneficial in other aspects. So here I'm just trying to get through this section without taking too much damage. Also trying to not use as much line either, but I feel like they're pretty generous on this one. I feel like they're more generous than what they needed to be, but again, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Definitely not. And there we go. That'll do it for the Dungeon Dome. And now we have one more level we're going to do um, in this video before we uh, take a break and come back tomorrow for the rest of the stages. Uh, so the next stage is actually going to be a pretty quick one. Um, and it's actually one of the cases where I want to say this is like the only level in the game. Or there, there might be another one that I'm forgetting about. But uh, this is a level of the game where they use both the time trial 
and line trial, they use the same room. So, <laughs> it's kind of cool, because like in one room, like for this room, you have to not only optimize time in one of them, but then you have to optimize line in the other. But I'd say it's pretty, like, you know, pretty similar to how you do both of these. Like, I feel like there's not really, like, necessarily a wrong answer for this one. Or, like, there's not a different answer for this one. I think you could largely do the same thing in both runs and be fine. So there we go, that's the uh, time trial. Now let's go ahead and do the line trial. So once again, not much to really say about it, just uh, bump up here with Meta Knight. We won't actually turn him around with the line, we'll have him hit the wall. We come back and then we just uh, shoot our way to the top. Pretty much from here, you can just kind of like tap dash, make lines here and there if you need to. Like I think even right here, like you're done with like making lines completely. Even use the bubble right there to my advantage to gain a little extra hype. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you guys tomorrow when we uh, do the rest of these stages. So uh, see you guys then. Later, folks.